Here's a little story about a man with a shed. He was really bored, so this is what he said. You know what? I'm gonna get on the radio. So now in the shed, he does a funny show. Broadcasting, that is your goal. It's pretty fun. Welcome one, welcome all to That Shed Show. I am DJ Uncle Robbie. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, uh, wow. Uh, anyway, sorry about that. Oh, God, like out of nowhere. I'm sitting here in, uh, yeah, this is the That Shed Show, but I'm actually in my um, my dining room. I gotta figure this out because I, I'm I'm having cold, man. It's been getting like it's nice out. Like it's nice out. It's still hot, but I mean, I, it, like when it's cold, it's cold, and and like I try to go out in that shed, I'm like, ah, it's too cold to be out here, you know. Plus, it's quiet in the house, so I'm like, yeah, why not do a show right here in the house? You know, no one's in here except for the cat. I just got a, the cats in my face and shit. But besides that, like you know, no one's in my face bothering me, so I can sit out here. But it's that shed show. You you want the you know I want I want to be in the shed. But I gotta figure something out. Get some heat going on in there or something. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know I got a little bit up. I'm just basically, you know, the, the title is nothing special. It's the date of the day, nine twenty five, two thousand thirteen. I got a couple playlists up that I've been doing uh for, on the show to you know mix it up a little bit between the two. You know, just screw around. I mean, I gotta go to work. You know. Uh, be here at like one to pick me up so i just wanted to play around a little bit do a little live live feed you know play a little play a little funny funny music like we do you know keep keep it rolling you know keep the laughter rolling by uh you know uh with the lit with the, the clips and all that stuff but uh also i wanted the live interaction but you know what there's really nobody on you know facebook was facebook's not really popping like you know, I, I got Twitter up. I got everything up. My Skype's on. No one's... No one... That's dead. Jen Jen just got here. Uh, let me let me see if I can start her up. Hello? <laughs> Jen Jen, the intern, those of you who don't know, uh, is not really an intern. She doesn't really do anything for the show, but she does support the show. She's a good friend of the show, good friend of mine. Uh, you know... We met online. Uh, we'll probably never meet in person because she's like a hundred miles away. She's in Ohio or something. Um, you know, I don't know. But I forget she told me, but I always forget I'm an idiot. Ohio or Cleveland. Cleveland, Ohio? Is that... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, but there is a couple things I want to get to. Uh, you know... Um, not even really, uh, it, you know, uh, we've got a couple, I have this book now, I've been writing stuff down, there's a couple episodes, I mean a couple of segments from the Uncle Bobby show, when we did the Uncle Bobby show, that I want to keep, um, like Dumb Crook News, uh, we're going to call, we're going to change it to Crummy Criminals, new name, same concept, you know. Uh, so we were going to do that, don't really have an intro for it though, it says, in the book it says get an intro. So I'm like, all right, well, I, you know, I'll look one up. Well, I don't have, I didn't, I didn't, uh, oh, shit, I also, all right, so anyway, so I have an intro, you let me know if, if you like it, we'll do that later in the show, I will talk about all that later, because it goes with everything that I want to, you know, talk about and everything, uh, the store I have and all that stuff, we'll talk about that later, but, we, you know, that's a little teaser for you, um, also, I guess, I don't know, we'll, we'll read the book a little bit. I mean, it's only a half an hour, but I, all the stuff in my head I have going on, and then, and, and, you know, next thing you know, we don't even have time for it, so. Um, yeah, just stay tuned, and we'll uh, figure something out. Skiing can be an exhilarating outdoor activity. That's exhausting. Nice job on the slopes. But for Tommy, it's all about when the skis come off. He's a ski instructor who likes to lure his students from the top of the slopes to 
under the covers. Talk to Mama. Yeah. Yeah. Take it off. Oh, oh yeah. Lick them. But Casey, Tommy's latest conquest, is having a hard time heating up. The sheets are cold. All right, all right. I, I can warm you up. Okay. Tommy knows all the right moves. I'm bringing the heat. And fires up his electric blanket. <sighs> oh. <laughs> Soon enough, Casey's screaming like the abominable snow slut. Uh, yes. Uh. They lie back and enjoy their post-orgasmic glow. Uh, we gotta get you in the advanced class. I gotta pee. And here's where we find out Tommy literally urines for her. I want you to pee on me. Good, good waterworks. Okay. What? Casey showers him with affection. Oh, just let that yellow river flow. The technical term for this fetish, urolagnia. Oh. 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 Glad I drank all that beer. Oh. Oh. Watch out, kids. You're in trouble. This couple having sex on an old electric blanket, 110 volts, body fluids all over them, perfect conductivity. The electricity passes up through their body, goes to their heart, disrupts their electrical conductivity in the heart. They go into an immediate cardiac arrest. Shockingly, they die. Nice job on the flukes. Tommy was a sleazebag ski instructor who preyed on his students. He bedded down a hot one. She went number one. And then... They were done. It's my money, gonna spend it on gum. It's my career, I can do a sharp jump. It's my drug, I can wear it shit. I can read good fans, they're my favorite band. Dead cats and dirty dishes everywhere. In my pants, cause I'm itchy there. I just came to shame my mother. Ain't never gonna marry Thor's brother. Now, trying to be a poor man's gaga. Or an albino Rihanna. Now I'm dating a French guy made out of French fries. Yum, 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 yum. I look just like Tweety. If he was slutty, gonna give my daddy an achy, breaky heart attack. Sweet niblets. This is my. Remember only God can judge ya Unless you busted then a judge can judge ya Trying to look sexy but it's just sad Is this an American apparel I'm not anorexic Just replaced breakfast with crack Now Molly is asleep Nobody make a beat Y'all get up on your feet I'm gonna show you a cool dance Everybody clap Take two steps back I'll just latch on to her hit song. My wife gave birth to a cash machine. Sometimes she lets me be in her movies. Cha-ching. Get out, daddy, or else I'm gonna pound you. Don't you sass me, I can still ground you. For getting that dumb Sharon Stone hairdo. And I heard you were dating a French dude. Where is he? Stop, daddy. I kill you, bastard. Stop. French fry guy. I hate you. USA. USA. Well, we are back um, to that shed show. I am your DJ Uncle Robbie, and now I'm aggravated because 
Johnny just called me up and, 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 you know, my driver at work, you know, and he friggin', he, he, one o'clock, he said he was coming, one o'clock, all right, now look, no, not everybody, this is the internet, not everybody understands, but, uh, uh, you know, I live in New Jersey, okay, right over the bridge is Philly, I'm in South New Jersey, not North New Jersey, not near New York, nowhere near that. I'm in South New Jersey, all right? I'm 20 minutes away from fucking Philly, all right? Between picking everybody up and, and everything, it's it's like last night we clocked. It was like an hour and a half, like like two, most most places. Almost, you, got, you give two hours and that makes up for, you know, when we pick up everybody to go to work, it's, it's like two hours. You, you can get there in two hours, almost every lot. Except for the real far ones. No matter what the situation is, we could stop at 18 stores and still get there in time. We don't have to be there till 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. This motherfucker wants to get me at 12.30. 12.30. And he wonders why I'm being fucking nasty. I'm, I'm in the middle of doing a show. I didn't even get ready. I forgot. I had plenty of fucking time. He wants to go pick me up. Oh, we gotta get stock. You get the fucking stock. That ain't my job. I'm not getting paid for that. And he's, he's all mad at me now because I'm mad at him. I said, don't come get me until 1 o'clock. So, and hung up on him. He called me back. Of course, I'm like, all right, whatever. He's a driver. I got to go when he says I got to. Like, like that's the difference. You can't, you know, he, he's the driver. He's the boss. So you can't go, oh, well, you know, Johnny, F you. I'll do whatever I want. No, you can't do that. But he's an idiot. He's, he's an idiot. Now we're going to get there early. And I have to go early just because he happens to be my idiot driver. You know, and 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 if we are late because of traffic or whatever, it's not because of the traffic. It's not because he he didn't pick up people uh, in time. It's because he doesn't know how to fucking drive. He's been driving for twenty years at this goddamn company, and he just he doesn't like. It's always something with him. Always something. And yeah, some of the people don't, you know, are assholes and they don't, you know, we got to wait on them. And that hurts too. But if we get there early, so help me God, I'm going to lose it. You know, all that time in that van, you don't get paid for it. You don't get paid for it. That's time out of my day that I don't get paid for. So I don't like gallivant. Excuse me if I don't like gallivant with everybody. And, and, you know, out in the van, I want to be home with my family in my, in my house. <sighs> Unless you're going to pay me, then I'll be happy. I'll do it with a smile on my fucking face. But it's just to get to the job. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, the, one of the reasons why the, the carnival can get away with, uh, you know... Paying people what they pay and, 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 you know, just no benefits and people still coming to work and people still being there for so long and, and you know, is because, well, look, you, you try driving to work. That shit is, gas is outrageous. It's expensive. Between gas and tolls and everything, you're paying out the ass. So that's one less thing you have to worry about. And if you don't have your license or for whatever reason... That's good too. And then you got this job, you know. I don't drive. I don't drive. So this job helps me. You know what I mean? Other than that, like I'm gonna, you like what I'm gonna do if I, you know, I'm gonna ride a bike or get a ride from my girl. That's the only other way I'm gonna be able to do it. You know, if I go to another job. So you know, there's goods and bads to every job. Um, you know, but now it's 11:30, so now I have an hour. So uh, you know, but we only have 15 minutes left of the show. That's a good thing. And um, I was looking in the book, uh, the the new the new book, the ideas, I everything I I uh, write in the show. It's the new Bible for the show. It's like radio Bible, and uh, you know I wanted to find a new, and I have written in here, crummy criminals, new name, same concept, needs intro, and my idea was for the intro was swiper no swiping clip. You know, from Door of the Explorer. You know, you go ahead and, and, and you know, just swipe or no, swipe. I think there's pretty much, he has his own intro. I